A series of unusual earthquakes rattled Oklahoma overnight, the largest a magnitude 3.8. Those quakes follow a rare pair of jolts in South Carolina. The first on Friday registered a magnitude 4.1. That was near the border with Georgia. A few miles away, a 3.2 aftershock hit on Sunday afternoon. CBS News contributor Michio Kaku is a physics professor at the City College of New York. His new book, The Future of the Mind, goes on sale next week. Good morning, Professor. How are you? Good morning. Uh, the folks in South Carolina say earthquakes aren't actually that unusual, but this one was, I think, the second biggest since, like, 1950. That's right. You have to go back uh, 30, 50 years to find earthquakes of this magnitude. Now, when you think of earthquakes, you think of California. Mm -hmm. You think of plates rubbing against each other like right. the San Andreas Fault. This is different. We are in the middle of the North American plate. How can there be an earthquake here in the middle of a plate? This is called an intraplate earthquake, mm -hmm. an earthquake that takes place inside one of the plates. Remember a few years ago, we were hit with the Virginia earthquake yes. of 2011. Yeah. Remember. It cracked the Washington Monument, which was then closed for three years as a consequence. And, and still hasn't reopened, I don't think. I know they said they were going to, but I think it's still not totally open yet. That's right. Now, these intraplate earthquakes are very difficult to predict. The San Andreas Fault, you know that roughly maybe once every 100 years or so, a big rupture takes place. But these intraplate earthquakes are because of fissures in the plate that are very ancient. We haven't even cataloged them yet. But what's the difference between what we normally see on the West Coast to what we see, as you're calling, an intraplate earthquake on the, in the South? Well, in California, we have two plates grinding against each other, with Los Angeles going north and San Francisco going south. That's the, the rubbing of two plates. Here in the middle of a plate, we have ancient fissures, some of them going back hundreds of millions of years, and we don't even know the configuration. We don't even know the geometry of these things, and they're potentially very dangerous. 1886, a huge 7.4 earthquake hit South Carolina when we were still pre-industrial, right. killing 60 people, one of the biggest earthquakes in U.S. history. Detection right. technology, though, is that any better? That's the thing. <laughs> predicting an earthquake is like voodoo and magic. <laughs> okay. Good to know. We're Michio clueless Kaku. when it comes to predicting earthquakes. All right. All right. Professor Michio Thank Kaku, thanks.